Hey guys, this is Debarshi here, back with another video about our MacBook Pro 2012 13-inch upgrade. In this video, we are going to be upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. This is a Samsung 860 Evo. It is one of the best SATA SSDs out there. For this, what we're going to need is an external drive enclosure. I got this cheap for like $8.99. And of course, we'll need our 860 Evo SSD or whatever SSD you have. The first thing that we're going to want to do is place the solid state drive within the drive enclosure. This is the external drive enclosure right here, which I got super cheap and the build quality shows. Carefully pull it out and remove the top. Take your SSD. Make sure that the SATA connector goes into the SATA port. If you want, you can put the top of the enclosure back. On. Now you take this USB power cord that we have here, connect one side of it to the top. This other side you connect to your MacBook Pro. So here we connect our enclosure to the USB port. Now what we're going to do is we are going to press the power button. Then automatically after that press down Option, Command, and R. Option, Command, and R. This is going to take you into a recovery menu. So let's just turn it on and hold down Option, Command, and R. And it's starting the recovery. Make sure to select the wireless network that you want to use. Now wait some time for the internet recovery to load. After everything is loaded, you'll see this utility right here, Western Utilities. And it gives you several options. You can restore from a time machine backup. We're not going to do that here. What we're going to do is reinstall OS X. Just to make sure, we're going to first use disk utility to erase the external disk that we have here, our SSD. And as you'll see, we have our disks over here. This is our traditional hard disk. We also have something labeled Sabrent Media, and that is our SSD. Just in case, we're going to erase it. We're going to call this OS X. Voila, it's going to format. Now that's done. You can just exit out of that and click reinstall OS X. Apparently it only allows OS X El Capitan. You can just continue. We can download Mac OS Mojave later. Press agree. It asks for the specific drive that you want to reinstall OS X on. Of course, you can just select the partition we just created, OS X on this external drive, our SSD. Press install and wait for that to finish. After the setup finishes, it will automatically boot to the external drive. Now you may set up your account. Select your keyboard, US. If you have a time machine backup and you haven't restored it to this drive yet, you can choose that. But for me, I don't have any time machine backup. I want to start from scratch. So I'm just going to choose don't transfer any information now. And later on, you can actually go into Time Machine and restore your backup. Enable location services. Then you sign in with your respective Apple ID, if you have one. Once the setup is complete and you are taken to the desktop, you are ready to shut down the computer and take out the drive because we are about to put it inside our MacBook Pro. Now we are ready to place our SSD inside the computer. And in order to do this first, you're going to have to carefully slide out the external enclosure, take out the SSD very carefully. Voila, we got that one SSD right there. Now turn your computer to the back side and open it. As you can see, this is our hard disk drive that we are going to replace with this nice fancy solid state drive. It's actually a pretty simple process. You'll see these four screws here. They are Phillips screws. All you gotta do is take this Phillips screwdriver and loosen these. You don't even necessarily have to take these screws out. In fact, I kind of recommend you don't. There. Take this prong right here out and be very careful because you don't want to break it. This right here is going to connect to one end of our SSD. We have these side connections. These side connections will attach to the side of these prongs. Pull up the hard drive carefully and you'll see the SATA connector. Detach the SATA connector very carefully and voila. 
So you see these screws right here on your 5400 RPM hard drive. These are Torx T6 screws and you need a special type of screwdriver in order to open this. I recommend the iFixit kit, which I have right here, which has all the screws that you'll ever need. I'm not gonna lie, iFixit, you gotta work on packaging this properly because this is not good packaging. This is abysmal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. We're just gonna unscrew all of these four screws. Be very careful, you do not wanna lose these. Got those four out. You'll see these four screw holes, threads, right inside your SSD. Place these screws in there, screw it all in. Yeah, there we go, there we go, I got it. Yeah! Oh, I that. You might want to screw them in a little bit with your hands first, otherwise you might lose it. There we go. Make sure they're nice and tight, finally. And voila, we got all of those four screws right in our SSD. Now we're ready to place our SSD back into the computer. All you've got to do for this is take this SSD. You'll notice that there are a couple of holes right here. You will want to match the screws, the Torx T6 screws, with those holes. And then what you want to do, make sure that you place the SATA connector and fit it in properly. All right, so now you'll see that this is properly secured, this top part. Uh, but we've got these two Torx T6 screws that are still out in the open, and that's because we still have our Phillips mounted prong that we still need to attach. Let's go ahead and attach it. We swap our Torx T6 for a Phillips, and then just screw it in. And that's that. So that's gonna be it for this video. You've installed the uh, solid state drive. In the next video, we are gonna be installing RAM. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to Autistic Tech Boy. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, and join me in the next video.